Good afternoon. We begin business this afternoon with Time for Reflection, and our Time for Reflection leader is Reverend Lorna Souter, the Minister at Cockpin and Carrington Parish Church with Laswede and Rosewell Parish Church. Reverend Souter. Presiding officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you for the opportunity to address you this afternoon. We seem to have been living through frustratingly uncertain times for a long time now. Always in life, there is a question of how we cope with uncertainty. In his book, Canoeing the Mountains, the American writer Todd Balsinger uses the example of the American explorers, Meriwether Lewis and William Clark, who in 1804 embarked on their search for the Northwest Passage. After spending 15 months paddling and carrying canoes up the Mississippi Missouri River to its source, Lewis and Clark were full of expectation that they were about to realize the dream of centuries of pioneers. They believed that all they and their party had to do was to walk up the little hill now in front of them look down a gentle slope that would take them about half a day to cross with their canoes on their backs, and then they would see the Columbia River that would swiftly whisk them to the Pacific Ocean and the climax of their quest. But in the next moments, what they actually found was something entirely different. What they found were the Rocky Mountains, stretching out for miles and miles as far as the eye could see, one set of peaks upon another. What next for them? They were going to have to go off the map into uncharted territory. All was uncertain. They might have felt like giving up and turning back, but they didn't. Instead, with courage, resilience, openness, and versatility, they kept going. The true adventure had just begun. In the church, too, we are facing uncertain times at present, having to head into uncharted territory as we explore new ways of being and doing church today. And it can seem daunting. And in the Lord's leading, we need courage and versatility to press on. In our wider uncertain times, I dare say that there are moments when you want to put head in hands and wonder, what next? But I pray you will each know the courage, resilience, openness, and versatility you too need to pursue paths of potential ahead. And before then, may you each importantly be able to make space for true rest in the recess, to recharge your batteries and be refreshed for your task ahead. Thank you.